Hi, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you today? Very good, teacher. Excellent. Fine. Are you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Okay. Hi, Selena. How are you? Hi. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we are going to begin right now. If you remember yesterday, we were making a review of the auxiliary do and does. Okay. Uh, when did we say we are going to use the auxiliary do? Do you remember? Okay, Selena, don't worry about it. Sí, teacher, mire, y tenía una pregunta de una lección de, Ajá. de un ejercicio del 4.4, creo. Vaya, veamos, permítame. Que ya intenté hacerlo muchas veces y no sé cómo, cómo será. El 4.4 dice, ¿verdad? Sí, ajá, es donde vamos a usar los... Ajá, sí, es. Okay. Okay, so it says, read the following sentences, complete by using do, does, don't, doesn't, or object pronouns. Vaya, ¿con cuáles ha tenido problemas? Este, con la, creo que la siguiente, la dos, que van después de esa, de la primera. Okay. So, let me check. Sí. Vaya. Ok, you can see. La primera, tengo, you no. like science fiction movies. Es sí. una pregunta, o sea, es como una conversación la que estamos teniendo acá. Como tengo lo que es el you, es decir, tú, yo sé que voy a usar el do. Y sí. como la pregunta ha sido directamente a usted, por decirlo así, o a mí, vengo yo y digo, no, I don't. No sé si lo está. Sí, esa es. Y la otra, dice la que abajo. La número tres. Number three. Number three. Oh, damn. Oh. Yeah, why? If you can see, we are talking about science fiction movies. Estamos hablando de películas. No son de ciencia ficción. De ciencia ficción. No, estamos hablando de las películas. Películas, ok. Sí, por eso I, es I, que I, estoy I, diciendo... I, I, That yeah. I don't mm. like them, no me gustan, porque hago referencia a las okay. películas. Ok, teacher, I have a problem también en eso, teacher. Ah, ok. ¿Y solamente ha sido no. en esas? No, number, en number six. Ok, va, veamos. Este, Selena, aparte de esas... Yo sí, solamente. ¿Solo en esa? Solamente, teacher. En esa dos, en la dos y en la tres era que tenía problemas. Ok. Thank you. Sí. So, bueno, veamos entonces, Carlos. Ok. Vaya, si continúo entonces con la secuencia de esta conversación. I have Jack and Lisa like soap operas. Estoy hablando de quiénes. Eh, Jack. De ellos, ok. Entonces uso. Elisa, Elisa. Do. Do. No, estoy hablando de dos personas. Jake 
and Lisa. Ellos. Uh -huh. no, no sé sí, ellos. correcto. Por eso utilizo lo que es el do. Porque es una ah, pregunta. Da solo es para la tercera persona, ¿verdad? That's right. Ok. Ok. So we have Jack doesn't. Porque ya estoy hablando doesn't. aquí que ah. a él no, ¿verdad? But I don't ah, know eh. about Lisa. Pero no sé acerca de Lisa. Why don't you ask her? Porque no le preguntas a ella. Es decir, ¿a quién? A Lisa. A Lisa. Ok. Okay. Uh, una más. Uh -huh. una más. La number nine. Number nine. Number nine. No, no podía responder eso. Okay. Vaya, si seguimos con la secuencia. What kind of music do Noriko and Ethan like? Igual, estoy hablando de dos personas, es decir, de ellos. Okay. What does he play? That's a yes. Okay, so I have the cello. I have his new CD. Let's listen to it. Ok, estoy haciendo referencia a qué? Al CD, um, al el nuevo CD. Excelente, sí, estoy haciendo referencia al nuevo CD. Vamos a escucharlo. ¿Qué vamos a escuchar? El nuevo CD. Ok, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Y la última verdad que dice, ok, after... Let's listen to Andrea Buccelli. I love him. He's the best. Or he is the best. Okay? Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. En este tipo de ejercicios es de tener o de poner más que todo atención, ¿verdad? De saber de quién estoy hablando o identificar muy bien lo que es el sujeto, ¿verdad? Pero sí, ya revisamos, ¿verdad? No sé si tienen alguna duda o si esa era... La única pregunta que tenían. Esto me ayudó bastante, Tilla. Ok, excelente. Porque, porque yo recordé eso que usted está diciendo, que tenemos que identificar de quién estamos hablando. Porque tuve exactamente los mismos problemas que mis compañeros. Ajá. Para recordar lo que usted dijo, entonces sí pude contestarlo. Ah, perfecto. Y fue exactamente las mismas que ellos tenían dudas. Sí. Este, a veces nosotros solo nos vamos, estamos así practicando, haciendo ejercicio y me pasa a mí también, créanme, que yo estoy así como que ya, bueno, veamos, ajá, sí, no, sí, ajá, y después cuando vengo a ver el resultado, yo, ¿por qué tengo esto? Y me pongo a leer más uh -huh. detenidamente y digo, ah, es que estoy hablando de esto, por eso, ok. Yes, como por, el, por ejemplo, decíamos acá, la primera, science fiction. A veces casi siempre solo nos quedamos acá, science fiction, y olvidamos o ignoramos el que está después, que sería movies. Ya con uh -huh. este movies, que está en plural, yo ya entiendo que estoy hablando de varias películas, no solamente de una. Por eso utilizo lo que es el do. ¿Ok? Ok. ¿Another question? Ajá. Eh, ya logré entrar a la plataforma y estoy viendo que hay un ejercicio que pues no sé por qué no firmar. Dice el de no, el de Yes, no long as work with B. Ah, ese es de la sección 3, si no me equivoco. O de la 2. 1.2. Es que como hace poco, o sea, que literalmente no había hecho nada por lo mismo porque no había podido entrar. ¿Sí? Así que ahorita estoy haciendo esa parte. Entonces, no sé por qué. Este, con, dice ahí que, que responde esa pregunta sobre usted. UD, o sea, usted. Recuerde descri, describir yeah. su respuesta completa, ya sea de forma afirmativa yeah. o negativa. Y le escribí todo de diferentes modos, y hasta pensé que tal vez eran las mayúsculas o el por el estilo. Y pues no, no me, no me da. Ok, yes. Um, acá estamos hablando de lo que son yes, no questions and short answers with B. Estamos, oh, bueno, acá dice long answers with B. O sea, no solamente estamos respondiendo, por ejemplo, uh, yes, I am, no, I'm not, yes, we are, no, we aren't, sino que estamos dando una respuesta un poco más larga. Por ejemplo, 
we have, are you from the United States? You can say, yes, I am from the United States. Or no, I'm not from the United States. Okay, aquí estamos dando más información. Sí, porque yo lo puse no, coma, I'm not, este punto, I'm from El Salvador y así. Así sería sin el punto. No, I'm not, I'm from El Salvador. Va, permítanme, déjenme ver. La vamos a cambiar. Sería no. Vaya, bueno, porque yo aquí la tengo. No, I'm not from the United States. Veamos. From the United States. I'm from El Salvador. Veamos si la plataforma me la acepta. Ok. Me sale que está parcialmente correcto. Y es la que acabo de, de modificar. Ok. Entonces solo tendríamos que negar por completo la, la, lo que nos está diciendo. O sea, poner que eso exactamente no. Sí, o sea, usted aquí me puede poner no, I'm not. O me puede poner, por ejemplo, yes, I am from the... United States. Oops, state. Okay. Y si le doy ahorita, veamos. Okay, ahora me sale que está correcta. O sea, ahí es opcional. Usted decide si la responde de manera afirmativa o negativa. Pero siempre respetando lo que tenemos acá. Complement, ahora sí. Yes. The complement of the sentence. Yes. Okay. Another question? No. Okay. Okay, excellent. So let me just go here. Okay, well, if you remember yesterday, we were talking about yes, no questions and WH questions with the auxiliary do or does. Uh, I remember that we also practiced a short conversation. So today we are going to continue, but I really need you to practice. If you remember, we were practicing in some exercises, we were identifying mistakes. So today we are going to continue working on that. Why? Because I really need to know that you have understood everything and that everything is clear. Okay? Yo necesito saber que todo esto está claro, que no tenemos problemas o que no tenemos dudas. Okay? Yes? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay. So Yes, teacher. Let's begin. Let me share the information right now with you. Um, this is an exercise that I have here. So, for example, first of all, we have there a review. Okay, tenemos lo que es un repaso. Cuando estamos hablando de lo que son preguntas. So, you can see if I have I, you, we, they, utilizo lo que es do. But if I have he, she, and it, I use does. That. Okay? So, Carlos, can you read the questions that I have here, please? Okay, teacher. Uh, do I, you, we, they have the right sense? Does he, she, it were here? Okay, thank you. Complete. Okay, so you can see that there we have those examples. Something that we were talking about yesterday is that when we are using the auxiliary does, the verb in the third person will remain the same, okay? Or we'll go back to its base form. So now I have here some, let me see, some questions, okay? That we need to complete them using do or does. So we're going to begin with number one. 
I don't need only the answer. No necesito solamente que me digan do and does, sino que necesito que me digan por qué. Okay? I need you to tell me, to explain to me why you are using do or does. Okay? Por muy simple que sea o porque me digan, ay, que ya, ya estamos aburridos. No. I need you to tell me why. Necesito que me digan por qué. Quiero que estén 100% seguros. Okay? So, we are going to begin with Gerardo. One. Do you always have toast and coffee for breakfast? Why are you using do? Do because use second person. That is? You. Okay, excellent. Gerardo, choose another person, please. Francisco. Okay, Francisco, number two. Does Ramon swim for lamps in the pool every day? Okay. So, can you tell us why are you using does? Uh, Ramon is he, he is third person. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Francisco, can you choose another person, please? Okay. Uh, Esmeralda. Okay, Esmeralda, number three. Okay. Does David travel to many different countries on his job? Uh huh. Because does is David is a uh, he is is he and three person. Okay, excellent, three Esmeralda. Person. Perfect. Esmeralda, choose another person, please. Okay, uh, Selena. Okay, Selena, number four. Yeah. Do you just take care of Hakim in Hokkien? Because. Um, because. Que ellas, digamos, en este caso, de las enfermeras, del, de nuestro personal, en tercera persona. Ok, excelente. We're talking about nurses. I mean plural. Perfect. Ok, Selena, another person, please. Francisco. Ok, Francisco. Ya, ya participó. Sí, ya participó. Escojamos a alguien que no haya participado. Brenda. Ok, Brenda. Sería la cuatro, ¿verdad? No, number five. Oh, ya la cinco. Sería... Oh, sería, do, do you plan to become an electrician? Ok, an electrician. Y tú porque habla de... Eh, porque, o sea, me pregunta si planeo convertirme en electricista. Ok, o thank ser you. Electricista. Excellent. Brenda, another person. Um, eh, Brian. Ok, Brian. Is do. La número 6. The number 6. Why? Is. Um, sorry, sorry. Uh, is. Does your assistant always tip so quickly? Uh, se refiere al asistente. A él. Ok. Thank you, Brian. Can you choose another person, please? Um, is Jonathan. Ok, Jonathan. That 
no, sorry, does it snow in Hawaii? Is that because we talk about uh, it, her okay. person? Thank you, Jonathan. Another person, please. Uh, Carlos. Okay, Carlos, number eight. Great teacher. Yes. Um, um, does, does the customers always take their vacation in Miami? Um, do or does? Um, do. Okay. Why? Um, two pairs. Um, a un lugar uh, de vacaciones a un lugar a Miami. The cost okay. Of okay. Thank you. So, al final entonces es do o das? Do. Okay. Excellent. Preguntas hasta acá? Or is everything clear? Teacher, uh, the costellos, how do you say? Oh. Costellos. Uh -huh. Yes, we're talking about the, the family. So, for example, you can say, um, let me see. Uh, so, for example, I can say the, let me check, the Dominguez, for example. Uh -huh. uh, not, not only talking about you, but talking about your family. Or I can say also okay. the, the Reyes or the Alfaros, for example. Como, como la familia, algo así. O la pedido de la yes. familia. Okay. Okay. Ah, pues por, eso me, por eso me confundí, porque pensé que hablaba de. de Only one person? Persona. Okay, yeah. yeah. Por eso es que me gustan es, estos ejercicios. Okay. So now we have the following information. Thank you. Carlos, can you choose someone else that hasn't participated, please? Um, okay, teacher. I'm present participant. Alguien que no haya participado. Okay, ahorita. Um, Karen. Okay, Karen. Can you help me reading this information, please? El primer cuadro, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes. I, we, you, they. Don't have the time. He, she, it. Doesn't belong here. Okay, thank you. Okay, so there you can see that we have those examples of negative statements using don't and doesn't. As we already know, don't is going to be used with I, we, you, and they. And doesn't is going to be used with he, she, and it, or third person singular, okay? So, Karen, can you choose uh, someone that hasn't participated, please? Tamara. Okay, Tamara, number one. Okay, so we are going to complete these sentences using don't or doesn't. So number one, what is the answer and why? In uh, emergency? How do you say? Em emergency? Emergency. Emergency. In, a main, in an emergency, do you... How... Uh, what is the meaning of feel is sentir? Which one? Feel. Feel? Are you talking about this? Feel out. Sorry, Tamara. De eso está preguntando. Feel out. Yes. Rellenar. O llenar, um, ¿verdad? Uh, Oh, okay, in energy, in numbers. You don't have to fill out for. Yes, okay. With that. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I 
I say about why I. Why I um, ¿Por qué puse? ¿Por qué dije don't? Yes. Okay. Mm. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> because we use um, with a first with you, don't can. Okay. I don't know. Okay, yes, because when we are talking in second person singular, you can say, we use don't. don't. Thank you. Okay, so now, can you choose another person, please? Okay. Josue Mauricio. Okay, Josue, number two. Okay, number uh, number two. I don't know my account number. Uh huh. Is done. Why? Por por ser la primera persona, verdad? Se utiliza. El don. Okay, thank you. Mauricio, choose another person, please. Okay. Leslie. Okay, Leslie, number three. The bank doesn't pay a lot of interest on a regular saving account. Okay. Doesn't because we are talking about the bank. About Excellent. It. Perfect. Leslie, another person, please. Esmeralda. Okay, Esmeralda, number four. Many, many students don't, don't read news, newspaper at home because a student is they. Excellent, Esmeralda, another person. Okay, and let me see. Gerardo. Okay. Gerardo, number five. We don't eat turkey on Thanksgiving at our house. Uh -huh. Use Second person. Singular or plural? Plural. Okay. Thank you. How do you pronounce this word, Gerardo? Turkey. Excellent. Thank you, Gerardo. Another person. Leslie. Leslie already participated. Choose another one, please. Carlos. Okay, just give me a few seconds. Ando viendo quién no me ha participado. Se están olvidando de un compañero. <laughs> Brian. Brian. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> bueno, están olvidando a otro, pero Brian. Brian, number six. Your last name don't belong in this space. Okay, don't or doesn't? Don't. Why? Uh, um, I use the um, because is using is is your your last name, serve el nombre. Apellido. Apellido, sí. Ok, so apellido, ¿es singular o plural? Es singular. Ah, ok, so if it is singular. It doesn't. 
Entonces, Ajá, sí. yes. Vaya, este es un adjetivo posesivo. El adjetivo posesivo lo único que hace es demostrar pertenencia o posesión. ¿Ok? Aquí estoy hablando de tu apellido. Es decir, uno. ¿Ok? And since I'm talking about your last name, I can say that it is singular. So I'm going to use... Doesn't. Doesn't. Thank you. Okay. Carlos, uh, number seven, please. Okay, teacher. Um, we don't like pizza very much. Uh, because um, there's some we person. Okay. And the last one, Francisco. Sharing and Rahif don't like to clean the house because we are talking about two persons. They. Two people. Okay. Two people. They. Okay. Excellent. Perfect. Vaya, hasta acá. Está todo claro? ¿Tienen dudas? ¿Tienen preguntas? Yes? No? No, teacher. No. Okay. No, teacher. ¿Seguros? ¿Segurísimos? Ok. So, if there are no more questions, and I honestly think that it is clear, por lo que he estado escuchándoles también ya ahora explicando, ¿verdad? Sí, ya se puede ver que está un poco más claro. Y es que no decimos que ya está 100% claro todo, ¿verdad? Ok. So, let's continue. Vamos a continuar entonces. Um, I'm going to continue working on the platform. We are going to go to the next video that is a well we have a conversation that is an invitation we are going to start studying a new topic here and then i'm going to be explaining that to you okay so we are going to watch this conversation we're going to watch and listen and then we are going to practice okay so let me know if you can listen please in this lesson, participants would listen to a conversation where wood for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I'd love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match, around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay. So, you can see that here like we to. have a short conversation about an invitation. Um... Ya les voy a estar explicando, ¿verdad?, cómo nosotros podemos aceptar o cómo podemos rechazar lo que es una invitación. But now, I need two volunteers. Let's see. Volunteers. Me, teacher. Thank you. I have Jonathan and... Francisco. And Francisco. So, let's listen to you, please. I I have to get to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I I love to. What time does it start? At eight o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six o'clock? Um, I like to, but I have to work late. Late. Oh, that's okay. Let's judge me at the stadium before the mat around 7.30 p.m. Okay, let's meet at, okay, let's meet at the uh, gate. That sounds fine. 
See you there. Okay, thank you. So now um, you guys, go ahead. Um, uh, I have a question. What's your question? Um, where is the meaning of in Spanish? Uh, gate. Gate, entrada. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, Thanks. you're welcome. Another question? No, nope. no teacher. Okay, so now you guys choose two different people, please. Gerardo. Okay, so we have Gerardo and... And Brenda. And Brenda, thank you. I have ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thank you. Is love to what I does it start? At eight o'clock. That song great. So do you want to have dinner at six o'clock? Oh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, thank you. Okay. Let's you meet at the stadium. Stadium, creo que se pronuncia. Stadium. 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 Before the match at all. Um, um, seven. No, I recuerdo cómo se pronuncia. Si uh -huh. Seven thirty. Okay. Around seven thirty. Okay. Let me at the gate. Tam, tam, so fine. See you there. Okay, thank you. Now you choose two different people, please. Esmeralda. Okay, we have Esmeralda and um Jonathan. Jonathan already participated. Okay, this is um, Francisco. Francisco participated too, so choose another one, please. Um, Josué. Josué, okay, thank you. Okay, I have ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks, I love to. What time does it start? At eight o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have a dinner at six o'clock? Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let me have the game. That's on fine. See you there. Okay, thank you. Two more people, please. Leslie. Okay, Leslie. Mm, Carlos. And Carlos. Okay, teacher. I have ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would, would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 p.m. 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6 o'clock? Oh, I like I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7:30. Okay, let's meet at the game. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, excellent. Um, do I have any volunteers 
Tengo algunos voluntarios más. No. Ok, Brian, thank you. And who else? Ok, so I have Brian and we're going to have Tamara. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does does it start? At eight o eight. That sounds great. Uh, so, do you want to have, have dinner at six o'clock? Oh, I like to, but. I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Uh, let's just meet at the start. Stadium before the match around 7 20. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Let's meet at the gate. That's some fine. See you here. See you here. There. There. Okay. There. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. Okay, um, sorry. Okay, so you can see that here we have this short conversation that is about an invitation. So most of the time we are going to see these expressions. For example, here, would you like to go? Te gustaría ir? Would you like to go? Or probably, just hold on, let me share the white four we have here so for example i can ask um would you like coffee so you can tell me um yes i would or no i wouldn't okay another invitation could be um would you like to go sorry to go to the beach, for example. Or I can say, would you like to go to the beach this weekend? Okay. Can you tell me another example? Any of you? Would you like to eat pupusas? Okay, would you like to eat pupusas? Excellent, another one. Would you like to play basketball? Ah, excellent. Would you like to play basketball? Okay. Would you like to board the show? Okay, would you like to go to church. Uh huh. Would you Would like? You like uh huh. Would you like to watch TV? Ah, excellent. Would you like to watch TV? Uh huh. Would, Would you, you like some wine? Would you like some water? You said, Jonathan. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Mauricio, what is, what is your question? A good, a good July a to go cinema. Ah, okay, to go to the cinema. Excellent. Um, and the last question or the last example? Would you like to the eat sweet bakery? Ah, would you like to eat um, sorry, sweet bakery like this? Yes. Yes. Pan dulce. Yes. Okay. A coffee. Mm. Hey, yes. <laughs> De esas semitas. Okay, yeah, so I, I, I really love coffee, so I think that once I finish 
working i'll drink my cup of coffee because i really need it excellent so you can see that here we are making questions using wood and basically what we are doing is making an invitation Estamos haciendo una invitación. so i can ask would you like to drink coffee ¿Te gustaría beber café? Would you like to go to the beach this weekend? Would you like to eat pupusas? Would you like to play basketball? Would you like to go to church? Would you like to watch TV? Would you like some water? Would you like to go to the cinema? And would you like to eat sweet bakery? Okay, perfect. Uh, so now that we have studied a little about invitations, we are going to go to the platform again. Sorry. Okay, wait. Okay, and we are going to study that right now. How we are going to be using wood. Okay, so here we go. Okay. By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of wood in questions and answers. Remember I told you last class to pay attention to the conversation when they used I like to or I love to? Well, now it's our turn to study how to form a sentence for accepting and refusing an invitation. Let's check it out. Wood. Verb plus two plus verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Contraction I'd equals I would. In order to accept an invitation, we need to follow the structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb plus complement. Examples. I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. And when we need to refuse an invitation, we need to follow this structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb comma but plus examples i would love to go to her new house but i can't i would like to go to her new house but i can't okay so you can see that right. here we are talking about wood so we have that the invitation or in this case the question is going to be wood plus subject plus you can see we have here a verb that is like to plus another verb plus complement. So, would you like to go out on Friday? Would you like to go to a soccer match? And the answers that we have are the following. So, you can see that here we have the answer accepting the invitation. On the other hand, you can see that we have answers refusing an invitation. So we're going to have, let me see, um, let me see, I'm just checking. Esmeralda, can you read the answers for the first question, please? Okay. The answer, only the answer. Only the answers, please. Okay. Yes, I would. Yes, I love to thanks. Yes, I really like to go. Thank you. Uh, Esmeralda, choose another person, please. Okay. Um, Leslie. Okay, Leslie. So, would you like to go to a soccer match? I like to, but I have to work late. I like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Thank you. 
So you can see here that we also have the contraction that is I'd. That is the same as if we say I would. Okay, I'd or I would. Um, ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? No. Una pregunta nada más, teacher. Ajá. Eh, en lo que son las respuestas a las preguntas, eh, cualquiera de las tres sería válida. Correcto, sí, porque es como que viniera, digamos, que alguien que lo invite a ver a su artista favorito, por ejemplo, y le diga que le va a pagar la entrada y lo va a invitar a cenar y lo va a... O sea, le va a pagar todo. You can say, yes, I would. O sea, me ha encantado de que lo lleven a ver a su artista favorito y todo. And you can also say, yes, I'd love to, thanks. Or, yes, I'd really like to go. De las tres formas okay. es correcta. Ok. Ok. Thank, Thank you. you. Ok. Um, no sé quién más tenía pregunta. Para decir que no. Ah, okay. Solamente de esas tres formas así bien educadas, de ahí sí me gustaría, pero no puedo. Ya. Yeah. No se puede decir. Sí, para no ser tan importantes. Uh -huh. Yeah, remember that, for example, with us, women, con las mujeres, pero nosotras casi siempre ponemos excusas para todo, ¿verdad? Uh, for example, uh, would you like to go to the cinema? Más si es la persona que uno no, nada que ver, ¿verdad? Uh, sí, fíjate que me gustaría, pero es que estoy estudiando inglés y no puedo. Y me encantaría, pero a esa hora este, tengo clases. Ay, se quedan. Nos quedamos. Este, sí, gracias, pero es que la verdad me encantaría, pero le estoy ayudando a mi mamá. Y es mentira, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? No queremos. Pero para no ser así tan, tan cortantes, we said, I like to, but, ya ese but me está contrastando. Quiere decir, pero, y aquí ya sé no yo puedo. que, correcto. But uh -huh. I have to work late. O en el caso que salían acá. Okay. Let me see where was it. That says but I can't. Okay. I'd love to go to her new house. But I can't. Me encantaría ir a su nueva casa. Pero no puedo. I would like uh -huh. to go to her new house. But I can't. Ok, aquí ya estoy diciendo, pero no puedo. O sea, me encantaría no aceptar esa invitación, pero estoy ocupada. O pero no puedo. Pero estoy estudiando inglés. Pero trabajo esta noche. Ok. Ok, Thank you. Another question. Testing and review. No. No questions. Okay. So let's see. How would you answer these questions? So, for example, um, let me see. Gerardo, would you like to drink coffee? Gerardo, I like to, but I visited my family. Okay, thank you. Excellent. So, Gerardo, make the question to another person. Brenda. Would you like to go to the beach this weekend? Mm -hmm. 
No le entiendo la pregunta. Uh, Gerardo, can you make the question one more time, please? Sería, ¿te gustaría ir a la playa este fin de semana? Ok, yes. Yes. Uh, yes. I, I would. Ok. Uh, también se podría... Yes, I... Yes, I love you. Okay, yes. excellent. Yes, I love to. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Brenda, make another question to any of your classmates, please. Okay. Sería, would, would you like to eat pupusas, Selena? I like to, but I have to study. Okay, excellent. Selena, now you make a question to another classmate. Would you like to play basketball, Carlos? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Okay, thank you. Carlos, make the question, make a question to another person, please. Um, okay, teacher. Um, 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 Leslie, would you like to do go to do go to church? Yes, I'd love to. Thank. Excellent, Leslie. Another question. A Francisco. Okay. Would you like to watch TV, Francisco? I I would really love to, but I had to do homework. Excellent. Perfect. Francisco, another question. Okay. Uh, Jonathan, uh, would you like some water? Uh, yes, I would like to. Okay, excellent. Jonathan, another question. Uh, would you like to go to the cinema, Karen? Karen? Okay, is she here? Mm. So, make the question to Esmeralda, please. Okay. Um, would you like to go to the cinema, Esmeralda? Yes, I'd like to go to the cinema, but I, can, I can't because I have a, cl a class in okay. English. Okay, perfect. And the last one, Esmeralda? Okay, let me see. Um, Jose Mauricio, would you like to eat sweet bakery, Jose? I will like to go, but I can visit my family. Ah, okay. Thank you. Excellent. Okay, is this topic clear for you? Yes, teacher, clear. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Okay, perfect. ¿Alguna pregunta, duda? 
No. No, no. Okay, excellent. So if there are no questions, nos vamos a quedar hasta acá entonces y mañana continuaríamos. Más que todo con práctica, ¿verdad? Es decir, speaking. Necesito ver si vamos mejorando las áreas que les dije el día de ayer, ¿verdad? Es decir, si estamos escuchando bien lo que dicen sus compañeros, si les estamos poniendo atención más que todo para no salir con algo que no nos han preguntado o qué sé yo, ¿ok? So that's what we are going to do tomorrow, ¿ok? So okay. that's all for today. Thank you so much for coming and see you tomorrow. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Bye.